day, ladies and gentlemen. It is five after five on this. It was a very nice uh, Saturday afternoon, and then it got all gloomy all of a sudden. It rained for about four seconds and then stopped. I thought I'd give you, uh, today will be an update on Ben. Leah's in the house. How you doing, Leah? Good. Excellent. Making noodles. Making the noodles. I mean, I'm making noodles. Yeah. Well, she's I'm helping. Then let me touch the pot. Yeah, because it's my pot of noodles. So you're obviously 100% better looking than yesterday. I'm fine. Literally, I don't know what everyone was talking about. Nobody was saying it was a bad no, thing. No, no, just... no. Everyone I've talked to about getting the Rhythm 2000, it's always been, you won't be able to eat, you're going to be bedridden, uh, you're going to be in so much pain, you're not going to be able to talk, it's going to be all this stuff. Absolutely none of it affected Number me. One. That's the uh, the Tylenol 3 is talking right now. Yeah, yeah it's because I'm on medication like not, everyone else would have been. Yours were not impacted. Number two, you had your medication given to you properly. I know, Number but I'm three, not talking just about you. You were in there for 45 minutes. I'm talking about a lot of people who said that exact same thing today. We calculated it properly. Yeah. 40 minutes in and out. They must have like just squeezed them like a zip. Oh, there's one. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there you go. You've heard it from Ben. So if you're getting your wisdom teeth anytime, anytime out soon, whether it's in the next day, week, month, year, Ben had a very good uh, either doctor or just a really good experience. Uh, whether his teeth were just like perfectly ready to be yanked out and other people's like Leah's and mine were a little more difficult. Not sure why, but uh, so he's going to have some noodles. I thought you went right out. I was awake the whole time for mine. I could see I what he's doing. You were talking about how you were like out. Uh, not for my wisdom teeth, for other procedures that I've ever had. Hmm. Yeah, you, you're mixing up the colonoscopy procedure with my wisdom teeth. And they're completely different things. <laughs> yes. I would imagine. So. Yes. So, again, they, they did the same thing with me. They gave me put intravenous in and as soon as he did the needle he said okay let's lie down and that was it I don't remember anything until I woke up again um, and then I don't remember really waking up but I remember them making me go back to the room uh, one other thing oh the one thing I wanted to tell you guys about the my wisdom teeth experience is my dentist knew that just listening to them do the procedure to you the, t the banter between the doctor and the nurse uh, I guess sometimes it's a little bit disturbing to the the, uh, the patient. So he actually went to his car, and this is back in the 80s. I can't remember. It was, must have been mid to late 80s. And so he went out to his car, and he came back in. He had a Walkman, and he put the Walkman on. And the only, he goes, I'm sorry. He goes, the only tape I have is um, uh, Boy George. So I got to listen to Boy George's album with Karma, 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 Karma Chameleon. Uh, over and over again. I guess the tape would flip over every Maybe maybe it only made it through one so maybe we had to turn the tape over. I can't remember that part I just remember I had to listen to that while they were doing this procedure to me. So uh, My I had a bad experience Leah had a bad experience. Uh, actually mine wasn't bad. It was just not great uh, And Ben had like the best experience for wisdom teeth ever um, What did you guys watch this afternoon? Guardians of the Galaxy. Guardians of the Galaxy. And you loved it? It was good. Yeah. You Did you cry when Groot got blown up? No. You cried. I saw the little tear. Just the little one. <laughs> I didn't say he died or anything. I just said he got blown up. I said something. Oh. I cried in the theaters when I saw it. Yeah. I don't know. I don't cry for it. Especially when like Groot touches the uh, rocket's tear. That's a sad moment. Yeah. Have a good uh, dinner. Thanks for making me dinner too, eh? Yeah. Hey, Dad, would you like some dinner? Oh, thanks, son. Nope, not for me. Shut that off. These lights, they're halogen lights up there, and they get they make this thing crazy hot if you just leave them on as a light source. So we try not to do that around here. Put the chair here because Sunny loves to sit there. She just sits there and just grooms herself for hours. I've been working on stuff for Carl. He brought all these hard drives in. Uh, he needed me to 
find footage and put it onto this little passport thing. It's like a 500 gig hard drive, I think it is. And uh, maybe it's a terabyte. Anyway, so I had to put on shows from a year ago for both shows. He has the Bash show and he has the uh, Crappy King show. So those both had to be on there. And then he wanted the stuff that we just did. So I had to put all the Bash stuff up there, all the crappy stuff on there. But we're missing like from last year, we're missing about five full episodes. And uh, so I had to email him that we need a drive, another drive. So there's there's a, a drive that he uses and then there's a drive that I use and it has the same information on it, but mine's the working one. His is the one that he can go through and check for, for stuff and find things. And that way uh, everything's backed up so we don't lose anything. There's nothing worse than losing a whole television show. So that's what I've been doing for the last four hours. So, yeah. Carol's at the cottage helping out with mom and dad. And uh, my daughter's work this morning and then works at a different place at night and or today. Uh, and then she works back in the morning and then we're going to go to the cottage tomorrow. So uh, this should be a short vlog. Oh, I wanted to ask. I'm going to go through some of your questions. I mean, go through some of your comments. One of the comments I had, I can't find it right now, but uh, they said, oh, we didn't see the flag that you got from the uh, the beer case, but this is it. So I got the Canadian flag, as opposed to the Molson Canadian one. So there we go. Now, I wouldn't say it's a high-end flag, uh, like the ones you would buy to, to put up your, your flagpole. This would probably last maybe six months, maybe a year, but it's very, very thin. It's not like your typical flag material. Not sure how well it would do in a, in a very strong wind, but uh, that flag is from the beer. They actually made a special spot somewhere in the case. I've already thrown away the uh, the thing. Oh well, it's in there somewhere. Don't want to look at that. Next question. Matthew Wilson said, "Your drone shots are fantastic as usual. Money and frustration, well spent, sir." I agree. Celine couldn't believe I left my windows open with my phone uh, in the parking lot at the beer store. I wouldn't normally leave my phone in there, but I would often leave my do my windows open if, as long as I don't have anything that's easily grabbed out of the car. Uh, chances are, if I had left my car there, probably it'd be an interesting test. Uh, I wouldn't want to do it, but it'd be an interesting test. If I left my car in that exact same spot with my windows open and my phone in there, would anybody ever, would anybody take, the, take it? And it's that, it's just the wrong time at the, the wrong place at the wrong time, as they say, uh, to have something stolen out of your car. Sometimes you can just leave your car there for a long period of time. And I'm not super scared about having my, my stuff stolen out of my car. But again, if, if I didn't have anything in it, I don't mind leaving my windows open. Uh, but if there's anything in it, I always roll my windows up and lock the doors. I also want to say thanks to every single one of you guys who wished Ben well and uh, speedy recovery on that vlog, on yesterday's vlog. Thanks for that. Night Commander asked, hey Ken, how many beers do you usually have in a day? I'm trying to stick to three myself, used to be at six. Um, I usually buy like a two eight, I should only be buying a two four, but I buy like a, a two eight on a Friday and it'll be gone by Sunday, I'm no, sorry, by Monday or Tuesday sometimes even. So, but you know, on the weekends, like I'll, like I'll start having a beer now and then have like, you know, anywhere from six to 10 by the time one o'clock rolls around. So, uh, but I'm now cutting back huge and that would only last for a few. And then I, would, I wouldn't drink for many days after that uh, until the next weekend. So I'm trying to skip days and, uh, but I do like my beers. And uh, last night I think I had four. So Friday night for four, that's pretty good. Just, uh, that's all the time I have for questions today. Just gonna put the peas back in the freezer. There you go, peas. Peas powder, peas porridge hot. Um, so that's all the time I have for questions or comments today. Uh, I'm gonna put this video together because I have to, oh, I can put it together tomorrow morning. Tonight I'm going to kick back, have a couple beers, and uh, I think I'm gonna do a Dirty Harry marathon. I'm gonna look on IMDB and find out which ones were first and do a marathon, see how many I can get through by 12. Let's do it.